This is a water tile graphic from the 1998 real-time strategy game Rival Realms. And this is what that same water tile looks like in-game. This single tile sprite is the only one being rendered. So how is it animated? I can explain. But first, let's rewind. Hello! If you're watching this video, you might be thinking, who the heck is this guy? Perhaps you found my channel through my Mario levels, or my Diablo 2 mods, or even my very own game. Whatever the case, I'd like to welcome you to my latest endeavour, Dan Does Dev. As a game developer, I work on a lot of hobby projects, and I want this channel to be a place where I can share these projects with you throughout their development, and talk about some of the interesting problems that I encounter along the way. Let's take this water tile as an example. For the last five years, I've been working on Open Rival, which is an open source remake of the aforementioned Rival Realms. This is a game that I remember very fondly from my childhood, and I believe that it never got the attention it deserved. So, my mission is to make it playable on modern hardware so that it can be enjoyed afresh by a new generation. This means painstakingly creating a pixel-perfect replica of a game that has no source code, no documentation, almost no trace left of it at all. A game that uses such arcane rendering techniques that they might as well be wizardry. So how is this water animated? Here's the water graphic again. But you see, this image doesn't really contain colours at all. Each pixel actually contains a number corresponding to a slot in the game's colour palette. When you play the game, these colours rotate within the palette, which gives the effect of an animated image. This is just one of the many problems that I've had to solve. So, if this sort of thing interests you, make sure you hit subscribe for more updates on the development of this project and no doubt many others. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.